We're here at the car wash today just to show the proper care and maintenance of the impact gel saddle pads and the best way to probably keep them all clean. Now, um, if you keep your saddle pad clean, it won't white spot the horse. You get a longer, the saddle pad will last longer, etc. Really important to note, though, um, that in some of these car washes, they have some pretty harsh soles. So what you want to do is, is click it to a spot-free rinse. By switching to a spot-free rinse, you want to make sure that all the soap and the detergents and whatnot are washed out of the line and it's just clear water. So let's go ahead and we'll put some quarters in the machine and we'll show you how this works. You want to make sure that you want to run all the soap and laundry detergent out of the line and then just work the back of it. What we do is just spray it and work all the hair out. You never want to take a brush with the saddle pad um, because that'll pile up the felt. So what we do, and now I'll turn the felt on high pressure and show you how, how nice they clean out. What you'll see me doing here, what you'll see me doing is working the hair down and getting the hair out of the felt as we work down. You can see that I just got a little bit here and really got it clean and the other side is completely dirty. We can go ahead and do that on all three saddle pads, but at the end of the day, just keep working the hair out and working with the grain. And you don't want to get a bunch of crust worked up in here where you get a lot of dirt and crust and debris on the saddle pad. They'll, they'll what we call crust the pad to make the, the pad hard and then it'll soar off the horse. But just keep that pad clean. The pad should last you many years of good wear and tear and save and protect the horse's back. All right, after you go to the car wash, what you do is just take the saddle pad out and hang them on the fence in the sun, let them dry naturally. For the care and maintenance of the leather, what we recommend is just a you know, high-grade uh, olive oil and just take a, a rag or paper towel or whatever and, just take the olive oil and, and just clean it like that. And what it'll darken it up a little bit, but it will come back to natural. But you can use olive oil on your saddle pads and your silver. It'll stop. When you take your olive oil and you go, you know, be, be sure and, and do an, a consistent coat across the whole uh, wear leather because it will darken them up. And uh, that way you have a consistent look and, uh, you know, keep it clean and a lot of the dirt will come off and whatnot. Plus the conditions to last longer. If you want, you can take a light curry brush. Um, as well and, and curry the hair out of the saddle pad. We don't recommend that as much because it can pull the fibers out of the felt. It's always best just to take um, take it to the car wash like we show in the video. You know, Make sure that all of the uh, soaps and, and detergents are out of the lines and then just work the hair out with the, with the power washer hanging on a fence and let it uh, dry naturally. And it should give years of, of good uh, protection for your horse and, and rider.